to talk to you about the same thing. It's about finding where the switches are and the changes in tactics come. And sometimes <laughs> there's changes in within one sentence because there's this and there's that, right? Yeah. Um, let's just go through it really quickly together. Your first sentence is what? What are you doing here? Okay, so that's, that's a surprise, you're shocked. Okay, so Lance, I was just gonna make sure that you know, like your objective, you gotta be really be, be pursuing your objective, right? What is your objective? I didn't know what was going on. You know, I didn't know that the guy your, was... your objective is to come in on a white horse and save her, okay? To be the hero. You wanna right. be the hero. Right. So every time she says she doesn't need you to be hero or that you weren't a hero, you know, you hate hearing that you're not a hero or that you allowed something bad to happen. But wait, you know, you need me. I'm the hero. I'm the, I'm the guy on the white horse, okay. right? And you're trying to convince him that you don't need him for your hero and that he's been ev anything but a hero. You're not yeah. a hero. You're an, you're an enemy. So him showing up, here I am, the hero, and you're like, what in the hell are you doing here, right? I don't yeah. need you. You shouldn't be here. What's the next sentence? To come to my aid. What? <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You're the problem. I need someone to come to my aid for you. Not, you know, <laughs> you know, that you're not the aid. Okay. And then the next sentence? Did you know about Ramsey? Really ask that question. Look him in the eye and say, "Did you actually know? Did you know what you were doing?" Did you know about Ramsey? There we go. Feel that? Yeah. That's different, isn't it? Yeah. Now, he said, what about him? Yeah, he says, what is so terrible about him? What is so terrible about him? What do you say? What do you think he did? Mm, how about did? Okay, did. Right? Because that's all the bad stuff. Did is all the bad yeah. stuff, right? What yeah. do you think he did? What do you think he did? What do you think he did? Right? Now you don't have to bang it, but that's just, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, do you, did. Did you know about Ramsey? Well, what did you think he was gonna do to me if you gave me to him? So think is also important. You know, I mean, how, how did your little mind think this was gonna play out? I mean, if you could just imagine what Ramsey would do to me, what do you think he would do? Okay, so try that again. What do you think he did? Good. And what does he say? I cannot begin to contemplate. I can't even begin to contemplate. And what do you say? What do you think he did to me? Did to me, right? What do you think he did? Now, let, let's get a little bit more specific here. Okay. And then, no, now correct him. No, what do you think he did to me? Okay. What, what do you think he did to me? There, that's better. Do you see, you see the difference? So yes. you're correcting him about what he's answering. Okay? Yeah. Good. What's the next sentence? Yes. He beat me. And he enjoyed yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. Yes, he, he beat me. Beat. Think about it. Think, when you say beat me, you got to feel it. You know? The way he hit you. What he hit you with. Okay. Yes, he beat me and he enjoyed that. Now that's a wholly different thing, isn't it? He beat yes. me. Yeah. Oh, and he loved it. He <laughs> loved it. He enjoyed it. He's that kind of guy. He, 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 it's fun for him. Yes, he beat me and he enjoyed that. What else do you think he did? Now really ask him, what, what else? Let's just use your little imagination here. What else do you think he did? What else? I don't know. Yeah, he's got to say something. And then you're going, no, you've got to answer me. What else? Say, say, I need an answer from you. I need an answer from you. What else? Yes. He cut me. Now. Can you feel the knife on you? He cut me, he, ow. Think about the pain when he cut you. Yes, he cut me. 
He did what he liked with me. He did anything he wanted as long as I have a, still have a baby, right? He did what he liked with me as long as I could still give him an heir. I can still feel it. Okay, ow, it still hurts me. Like right this minute, it hurts. I can still feel, even now, I can still feel pain where he hurt me, okay? I can still feel it. I don't mean in my tender heart. Yeah, I'm not talking about just like, you know, psychologically. That's what you mean. Say, I don't mean psychologically. I don't mean psychologically. I don't mean in my tender heart. I can still feel what he did in my body. I can still feel the actual pain okay, in my now. body, right? Just talk about the actual pain in my body at this moment, okay? I can still feel the pain in my body right now. You said you would protect me. Now that's about what? You, you promised me. Say, how can you call yourself a hero when you didn't do anything you promised? You promised. You promised. You said you would protect me. I don't believe you anymore. Okay, now that's like, no, what? you know what? I'm done. I don't, I don't believe you anymore, right? That's very different, isn't it? Yeah. You promised, you said you were gonna do this. You know what? Forget it. You said you would protect me. I don't believe you anymore. Good. So that has to be a reaction to what he says, right? So you have to, in order for you to make that change, you have to see him, right? And hear him. You said you would protect me. I don't believe you anymore. I don't need you anymore. Now that's a whole different thing, isn't it? Yeah. Say, I'm strong enough to take care of myself. Say that. I'm strong enough to take care of myself. Say, I'm tough. I'm tough. I don't need you. I don't need you anymore. Good. See the difference? Yes. <laughs> the big switches, aren't those are big switches, okay? Because you go from being vulnerable, say, why didn't you? You promised. You broke my promise. And then, I don't believe you. You're full of shit, right? <laughs> and then, then you move into, I'm strong now, and I don't you know, have any need for you anymore, right? Let's do those three together. You said you would protect me. I don't believe you anymore. Okay, make sure you like, you, first you gotta hear him. You gotta react to him, right, first, and then say it, right? So what would your, what would your reaction th th be, thought be before you say, I don't believe you? Why would I believe you when you've lied so many times? Yeah, or some, just give yourself something a little different than what you're saying. Like, I'll oh, give me a break. Okay. I don't believe you anymore, right? You said you would protect me. I okay, but no, wait. So you're, you're doing it automatically instead of seeing him, aren't you? Are you actually <laughs> hearing and seeing him? No, I need to okay, hear him that. and see him. Hear, you got to hear him and see him. Because even when you're doing this as a total monologue, he's there. It's all reaction, okay? You said you would protect me. I don't believe you anymore. I don't need you anymore. Be strong. Get strong when, before you say that. I don't need you, you know. I don't believe you anymore. I don't need you anymore. You won't even be able to protect yourself if I tell Brienne to cut you down. Okay, now that's a totally different thing, isn't it? Because yeah. now you can't still be in the crying mode, can you? You know, now you're, not the, you're not suffering. Say, you're in a whole lot of trouble. You're in a whole Come lot on. of trouble. Say, I'm gonna kill you. You won't even be able to protect yourself if I do this, right? You're threatening him now. You won't even be able to protect yourself if I tell Brienne to cut you down. Now, when it cuts you down, that's a juicy word, isn't it? They cut you down. Put, put you where you belong, you criminal. Okay? You won't even be able to protect yourself if I tell Brienne to cut you down. And why shouldn't I? Okay. 
I have the perfect right. Isn't that me? Why shouldn't I? Say, you wouldn't do that to me. He says, oh. you wouldn't do that to me. And you go, why shouldn't, and why shouldn't I? And why shouldn't I? What if I want you to die? Okay, yeah. now that, that's, that's good. Why shouldn't I? What if I wanted you to die right now? What if I want to kill you right now? That's a threat too, isn't it? I could kill you right now if I wanted to. What if I wanted to die here and now? You freed me from the monsters who murdered my family. Okay. He says, I did so many good things for you. Okay, I'll admit. Yes. You freed me from the monsters who would have killed my family, and then you gave me back to the ones that did. Can you make those really different for me, sir? Yeah, you did something good, and then you did something even worse. You freed me from the monsters who murdered my family, and you gave me to the other monsters who murdered my family. Go back to Moat Kaelin. Now give him an order. Go back. I'm going to take over myself. Go now back. you're the queen. Be the queen. Say, I'm the queen. Say that. I'm the queen. My brother and I will take back. Right? Take back the North on our own. We're powerful. We are the, you know what I'm saying? You've got to be, you've got to be powerful. My brother and I will take back the North on our own. I never want to see you again. Good, good. So see all those changes? Yes, lots to work on. Yeah, do you, do you can you remember them all? Okay. Will you be sending the video? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really good. The video will be good because I don't even remember them all. But if you can sit there and watch it and take notes, then yeah. you can really know what every single change is. Because that's what we're looking for, people. Look at your lines and see where the changes are. There can be three different tactics in one sentence, really, subtextually, can't there? Yeah. You see how you're, you're like different people almost. You know, you're the victim and you're the victor. And you need to know which part you're playing. Just like I said to Lance, he's different people too, isn't he? I mean, it all needs to be consistent with your character. It needs to be consistent with the relationship and the objective, right? Just like we were talking about your other piece. You can't just work the words on their own. The words need to fit the situation and the circumstances and the relationship. But you want to find as many changes as you can because they're there. If it's a good writer, they're going to give you all these opportunities and you don't want to waste them. Yeah. There's so many opportunities there for your character to show the different sides of herself. Right? This was really helpful. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Excellent. What are you doing here? To come to my aid? Did you know about Ramsey? If he didn't know, you're an idiot. If he did know, you're my enemy. What do you think he did? What do you think he did to me? Yes, he beat me. And he enjoyed that. What else do you think he did? What else? Yes, he cut me. He did what he liked with me, as long as I could still give him an air. I can still feel it. I don't mean in my tender heart. I can still feel what he did in my body standing here right now. You said you would protect me. I don't believe you anymore. I don't need you anymore. You won't even be able to protect yourself if I tell Brienne to cut you down. And why shouldn't I? What if I want you to die here and now? You freed me from the monsters who murdered my family. And then you gave me to the other monsters who murdered my family. Go back to Moat Caitlin. My brother and I will take back the North on our own. 
I never want to see you again.